Looking, you can be using your time to make yourself more marketable. In today's Money Monday segment, financial planner Rob Wilson's here with some great ideas you may not have thought of before. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, everyone thinks of networking online and all that kind of stuff, but you got some kind of unique ideas on how to, to network. I do. You know I like to think outside the box <laughs> a little bit, and so I call this think outside of the office. I think there are a number of things that you can do outside of the office to help differentiate yourself, avoid you know, getting pigeonholed in your current position and then ultimately making more money. So I think these things are applicable whether you're looking for a new job and you're not, you know, working at all or you're trying to upgrade the job that you're currently in. Absolutely. Um, you know, there's a very famous book out there called How to Win Friends and Influence People by uh, Dale Carnegie. And, and what he says there is that about 15% of your success is due to your technical knowledge or, or basically understanding how to do your job. And 85% of your success is due to social engineering, you know, the intangibles, your social skills, how you interact with people. And wow. so I thought we'd talk about a couple of those things to help you with that uh, with that 85%. Great. All right. So number one, you say uh, golf. Is that right? Uh, no, wait, let's start with learn a second language. We, Sorry. Can, we can start there as well. And if I dust off my, uh, my old Spanish, it's aprender un seguro idioma. That's uh, learn a second language. Nice. So I, I did take uh, <laughs> Spanish for six years, but I've since lost it because I don't use it every day. But if you think about it, you know, there's 19% of Americans who speak a different language at home, and that's 55 wow. million people. And so if, you, and if you've ever called technical support or customer service, oh, you know yeah. a lot of those workers don't even reside in the U.S. So the U.S. is becoming more diverse in a number of ways. And if you want to sell to a diverse group, you're going to need to understand mm -hmm. the language, understand the culture. And if you do that, now, not every job requires a foreign language component, but in some cases, this can be from 5 to 20% increase uh, in your pay. And let's not forget that you can probably have a lot more advantages or, or opportunities to travel if you yeah. do know uh, other languages. So I think it's a good skill to have. Which languages are the most important right Spanish now? Spanish and Mandarin are, are definitely uh -huh. the most popular languages right now to learn, okay. especially for business. Great. Then, like you said, another fun one. Hit the links. Well, you know, I, I have gotten into golf, and the weather is nice now and everything. So golf is a great way to meet people, network. I mean, I've had a chance to play in a lot of charity outings, and I've met people that I would have had a very difficult time, I think, in, in other ways huh. trying to get in front of them. So it's a great networking, networking tool. And there aren't many other ways to learn more about a person than spending four hours with time. them on a golf course. 25% um, of golfers are executives. So again, looking for a new job, great way to meet somebody that might be able to help you in your career. What's important though is that you do need to know the etiquette. You can't be out there moving your ball uh, and you know not remembering how many strokes you have because again people it, this is a job interview when you go out to play with the boss. If you've ever wondered why it. somebody else got the job and you did it it might be because they played with the boss but understand what you're doing out there because They'll think how you play the game is how you may operate in your right. business as well. So if you cheat or <laughs> if you do those you things, don't know what you're doing. You, you may be likely to do that at work. If you cut corners, yeah. you know, they may not want to hire you. And another important point is that it's not just for the guys anymore. Yeah. You know, there are a lot more women um, playing golf. So this is important for, for women to get out there Absolutely. on the course as well. All right, cool. Now, Dancing with the Stars, you've started out uh, your own dancing. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I, I try to, you know, uh, add to my skill set every so often. So I have started to take some salsa lessons. And again, let, let's just be honest, a lot of people don't know how to dance beyond the normal two-step. So if you can take some dance lessons, it shows that you have a specialized skill, that you practice, you work hard at things, and it differentiates you and can help you stand out at uh, your corporate outing. Well, there are a lot of social events where people are dancing, so that's a great way to, to stand out. There really are, and you know I, I always say there's no time like the present. So I have teamed up with a, a, a studio here called the Dance Cafe right down here on Liberty Avenue uh -huh. next to Dozen Cafe. Okay. So July 27th, we're going to be having some free salsa lessons. Um, there's a 7.30 class and an 8 o'clock class that uh, folks can uh, sign up for. Fantastic. And take the opportunity to learn a new, new, uh, new skill, and folks can go to my website, Rob Wilson. Dot TV to uh, RSVP. So you're helping sponsor that there. I That's am. I, I think, you know, sometimes you just have to give people a little uh, mm -hmm. little nudge and a push to actually go learn something new so it, they can come out and we'll have a good time with it. So just try it. It's a lot of fun, right? That's it. And I think once you go one time you check the class out, you, you might just get hooked on it. And there are a lot of salsa nights around the city uh, different lounges and bars and things like that where yeah. you can meet a lot of interesting people. Nice. Good mm -hmm. stuff. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. And again, financial advisor Rob Wilson. And you can look for Rob every other week here with his Money Monday.
Monday segments. And you'll also find a link to his website and the free salsa lesson information Rob mentioned on our Pittsburgh Today Live page at KDKA.com. Up next, intensely powerful, unorthodox, beautiful. Just